Victus is an interesting word. In fact, it's actually Latin, and when translated into English, has a few different meanings. For example, it can mean sustenance, nourishment, or provision. Or it can mean defeated, beaten, or a means of living. So what if we take the stance of what this could mean as a gamer? Well, we need a way to play the games we want to be able to play. This gives us what we need. So, sustenance, nourishment, or provision. But could also be a device that could power our experience to defeat other players, even at a pro level. Now, you can probably guess where I'm going with this. Can this device that we are looking at today deliver on that? Well, let's find out, shall we? This is the overview of the HP Victor 16. Roll those titles. Welcome to Microsoft Expert Zone UK and I. Now, if you've not seen our videos before, this is an overview, not a review. So we're gonna be taking a look at the top line points of this device and see how it performs with a variety of games. Now, as a caveat, we will not cover every single detail of the Victor 16, but hopefully more than enough so you know if it's the right device for you. So let's get into it. First up, the name. If you're aware of HP gaming laptops, you've probably heard of Pavilion and Omen gaming ranges. But you might not have heard of the Victus. Now, being completely honest, I hadn't either until the ladies and gents from HP kindly sent out this device to me. So where does the Victus sit in the world of HP gaming devices? The Victus brand sits in the middle between Pavilion and Omen and is aimed at those passionate gamers that want really an easy to use and well-balanced device that can allow them to both game, as you'd kind of expect, but also use it as a lifestyle device as well. See, wasn't that easy. Now let's take a look at the outside. The design of the Victor 16 for me hits the right balance between the premium and gaming. You have these sharp angles that you would really expect from a gaming device, but within what I would kind of say is a pretty minimalist design. The whole body of the laptop is made out of plastic, which reduces two things. And you most commonly associate those two things about gaming devices. One is the cost and the other is weight which puts this at just under two and a half kilograms or two and a half bags of sugar, which makes it pretty portable if you ask me. Also, HP have used over 341,000 plastic bottles to help create the Victus devices. While the speaker housing and D-cover, that's the one on the bottom of the device, have been constructed using post-consumer recycled and ocean-bound plastic. Now that is pretty darn cool. You'll have three different options when it comes to the color. You have this model right here, which is in ceramic white, but you also have the option of performance blue and mica silver, depending on your personal choice. Now we will go into the cooling a little bit later on in this video, but on this device, you have three vents on the side and on the back of the laptop. First of all, this helps dissipate that heat, but also designed to fit in with that gamer aesthetic. Now, when it comes to ports, you've got plenty to choose from. On the right hand side, you have two super speed USB type A. Then on the left, you've got the power supply, HDMI 2.1, great for when you're connecting that high refresh rate monitor, a standard USB type A, a super speed USB type C display port, which can also be utilized for power delivery. You have a headphone and mic combo port, as well as an SD card reader. This really does have connectivity up to the max. Once we open this up, we can take a look at the display. And what we have here is a 16.1 inch display. But what the really clever thing is, is due to the micro edge bezels, the display fits in within a 15 inch footprint, linking back to the portability of this device. The display is a full HD IPS display and 100% sRGB color gamma. You will get a flicker free experience with the 144 Hertz refresh rate and also has built in iSafe low blue light technology for those long gaming sessions. I know that that has come in really handy for me. All this tech talk is great and I know I'm getting a great display. But the simple fact is, is this has a matte display instead of a gloss finish, which is a lifesaver when it comes to gaming with little screen glare to worry about. Now, as we move down the device, it's the keyboards. We have a full all-in-one keyboard with the integrated power, 
Omen Gaming Hub and Calculator Quick Keys, meaning everything is at your fingertips. The keys are backlit with a white light, so no RGB this time. What that does keep in the fact that it is a minimalist design HP are going for here. HP have also increased the size of both the spacebar and trackpad to give you a better user experience. Now, earlier on in the video, we looked at the vents, and I mentioned that there are three vents on the side and back to exhaust the heat. Now, as well as this, there are two vents on the bottom of the device, and this is the place where it takes in all of that cool air. Now, I'm not going to go into the super technical side of this, but HP have increased both the fin length by 54% and the overall fan size by 33% compared to previous models. Now, pair this with the five-way airflow, and they have increased the max airflow of the device by 30%. Now, that's a lot of numbers and things I just said, but what's important is that it keeps the device cool. And for those that are wondering as well, yes, you can hear the fans when they're running at max, but I expect most people will generally be using a headset on this anyway. So, all good there. Now, when it comes to specifications, you have a few choices, but the model we have right here is the AMD Ryzen 7 5800H with the Radeon graphics, 16 gigabyte of RAM, 512 gig SSD, and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. It also has Windows 11 pre-installed. And if you want to know the benefits of gaming on Windows 11, check out the video that we'll have at the top of the screen now. If you would rather the Intel version, then you have the options of the 11th gen i5 or i7 with the same specs as this AMD version. Now, the last overview video I did, I got a lot of questions about the battery life. So the short answer here is this is a gaming laptop. To get the best out of the performance, you should have this plugged in when you're using it and especially when playing games. Now, the long answer is that HP don't actually state the battery life of this device just that it has a longer battery life compared to the previous models, so you can enjoy immersive gameplay on the go with those long gaming sessions. I've also not had the ability to test the battery with a full gaming session, though the benefit of a HP device is HP Fast Charge, giving you 50% of your total in just 30 minutes, meaning if you do get low, it won't take you long to get back into the game. Though, just to reiterate, if you want the best performance, just keep it plugged in. An additional aspect that HP offer when it comes to managing your power and performance is the Omen Gaming Hub, which comes pre-installed on the Victus 16. You even get a nifty button on the keyboard as a shortcut. At a quick glance, you can see some of your system vitals. Activate Network Booster, allowing you to control which games get network priority or even block certain apps from using your network to give you the best online experience. Then you have Performance Control, and this allows you to put your laptop into quiet mode, which keeps the fan noise down, but also gives you reduced performance. You then have default mode, which is for your everyday tasks, or you can crank it up into performance mode, which is suitable for gaming. There are also a whole host of additional features that you have access to within the Omen Hub, but that is for a different video. So we've spoken about the design and we've spoken about the power of the HP Victor 16. But how does it play? As we've done with previous overviews, the games that I'm going to be playing today are all set at high settings. And by utilizing the game bar overlay, you'll be able to see how the PC performs in the top right hand corner of the screen as we play. The games we're going to be using today are Forza Horizon 5 and Hellblade Senewa's Sacrifice. I thought that these showcase a variety of pace of game from the fast paced movement of Forza to the slower and more methodical nature of Hellblade. Both these games and over a hundred more are available to you at one low monthly cost through PC Game Pass or Game Pass Ultimate. Both these games are visually stunning titles that push the Victor 16 to the upper limits of its capability. The vibrant landscape really pops out as you're tearing down the road, but despite this I was really happy with the performance and FPS we achieved in Horizon 5. Cutscenes stayed at a stable 30 frames per second, while gameplay fluctuated between 115 and 140, which was more than I expected for a mid-range device. When we switch over to Hellblade, which really focuses on the graphics output, we see once again stunning visuals, as we've come to expect from Ninja Theory. Once again, the game did push the laptop to its upper limits, with a range of FPS going from the mid-40s to the mid-50s, and considering the game is capped at 60, I was pretty happy with this. As a side note, the darker areas of the game may not show up great in these shots, which may or may not put you off. 
What I will say is that the matte screen really allows the player to see what's going on in those darker areas, as I got no screen glare and I had a lot of studio lights around me at the time of recording. So there we have it. This is the HP Victus 16. Today we've taken a look at where this sits within the HP brand, and I believe it sits where it should, in the middle, allowing you to get both a great gaming experience, but also be able to use it as an everyday device where needed. As we've seen, I had an enjoyable experience when gaming, and it gave me a smooth, stutter-free session. For a device that would be taken around with me as I travel for work, it definitely hit all the right marks for when I would need that kind of casual session in a hotel room, but also could be used as a main gaming device if needed. So that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a like down below. And would you like to let us know what you think of it or would you want to know more about the device? Then pop a comment down there as well. If you want to hear more from us, whether that be more overviews, deep dives, unboxings, and a whole host of other videos, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when we post our next video. I've been Tom, and we will see you in the next one.